how do we get into this invisible wall? This invisible wall is what we call a wall that is invisible. I will going to demonstrate to you the fastest way on how to save a custom cabin view in a Cessna Citation Jet and a Boeing 747. Yeah! Step 1. We will going to check if you have already set your custom camera controls. If you already know your custom controls, skip step 1. Go to Options. Go to Controls Options. Click Keyboard. In the search by name input field, type custom camera. There are two categories of custom camera. The first are safe custom camera and the load custom camera. For this demonstration, I will going to choose the safe custom camera number 5 and my control will be right control plus number 1 on my keyboard numpad. Then I will going to load my custom camera number 5 by pressing number 1 on my numpad keyboard. The number 1 is the key to success. One single custom camera is already satisfied. Then you may set the rest of the controls from camera 0, 1, 2, up to 9. The step 1 is done. Now, for step 2, under this YouTube video's description, find the following directory and copy. Once copied, go to your file explorer, click on the address bar, then paste. Find the your username. Replace with your username. Then press enter. You should now be in this directory. I will going to reset the profile of Citation Jet 4 and the Boeing 747. Go back to your Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Select the preferred aircraft. For this demo, we will use the CJ4. And start the flight. As you can see, we are in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Now remember the key to success. It is my control number one. For step three, move the camera in any direction in the cockpit. This will identify that this will be our custom camera position. Now, save a custom camera. I will now be pressing my own custom camera, which is control plus one. To verify, return to the default camera and press number one. With this, in this directory, the CG4 profile has been created automatically. Go inside the aircraft profile folder, and there is a file named cameras. It is a configuration file. We can simply open this as Notepad by right-clicking the camera's file. Find open with Notepad. If you cannot see the Notepad here, you may click choose another app. Find in other options. Click Notepad. And you can always open this as configuration file if you like. It is self-mandatory. Open as Notepad. There is what is called camera definition. Under this camera definition, find initial X, Y, Z. There are three digits. The third one is the Z axis, meaning the lower number of this third value will push the camera backwards. It is like camera pushback. Yeah, just kidding. Decrease the number. I can set this to one. But I think this is too far for the CJ4. We can decrease number to 4. Save the configuration file. And you may already close this notepad. Go back to your Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Then click restart here. You don't need to restart the flight simulator itself. Just restart the flight. Yeah. Hit ready to fly. Remember again the key to success. It is my number one in my keyboard. Success! We are already in the cabin of the aircraft. I can now fully save all of my custom camera from left to right. It is now finally done. I have many custom views I can want to set inside the cabin of the aircraft. Yeah. We can also do this in other aircraft. 
We can demonstrate this in a 747. Hey. <laughs> Very good. I will now press the key to success. Go back to the file explorer. Find the 747 profile. Then click cameras again. I will now adjust the initial XYZ. Just decrease the third value. Hit save. Close. Goodbye. Hit restart flight. Oh, that's fast. Ready to fly. Hit number one. And we are here. And that's it. We have now our custom views inside the cabin of the 747. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Simon SP here. And thank you for flying Orbit Airlines.